Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back, Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're gonna take a look at an offering from Hay Bike. This is an e-bike model Ranger S. Let's go ahead and get started and get this thing put together. I'm really excited about it. Hope you enjoy the video. Closer look at this battery charger and more specifically the back of it so you can see that it takes an input voltage of 110 to 240 volts and the output of this charger is 54.6 volts at 4 amps so that is a nice little charger that's what it looks like it does have an indicator right here that will turn red when the battery is charging and green when charging is complete. So you have your standard wall outlet plug that plugs in. So now you can see the green indicator and on the other end of the charger you have what appears to be a 5.5 by 2.1 I believe is what that is. So now let's take a closer look at the battery. Here is a look at the battery itself. Very nice looking unit. Now right here you can see this information. This is a lithium ion battery, 48 volts. This is 691 watt hours of capacity. You can discharge it at 25 amps and you can charge it up to 5 amps. Right here is the charging port. That is where you plug in your charger. So here's what the top of the battery looks like. There's a little button here that says RGB right there and then the side there's nothing but a power switch so the cool thing about this is you can turn the battery on or off so you could put the battery in the off position put it in the e-bike and then nobody can run the bike you would have to actually turn the battery on to be able to run the bike I think that's a really cool safety feature and then here are the terminals that make connection when you put the battery in the e-bike so we'll just go ahead and plug this in and let this thing charge a little bit. So as you can see the indicator changes to red like I mentioned a second ago telling us that it's charging and then we can just come back when it's green and charging will be complete. And there's one more thing that I want to clarify about charging this battery. You do not have to take the battery out of the e-bike to charge it this way. You can leave the battery in and charge it through the port on the side of the bike. And another thing I want to touch on is that on-off switch. That is good for if you're going to be transporting the bike a long distance. It'll help conserve some of your battery life. Okay, let's talk about taking the battery out of the bike. So you'll take your key, put your key in, turn your key, and this gives you the ability to take the battery out. The reason you'll need to do this is so that you can turn this little red switch on and turn the battery on. Then you can put the battery back down into the bike, push it into place, and the key comes out. Now you're ready to go. It's very simple. Right here is the charging port. If you wanna charge the battery while it's in the bike, so you can charge through this port here, and it's, a, it's very simple. So let's take a brief moment and let's familiarize ourselves with this bike. Right here we have the display screen, and this has the display control. Uh, we have our handlebars here, 
you have your turn signals so left and right you have your horn and your lights so you can turn your lights on you have your shump your thumb shifter so you're gonna shift up going like this or down going like this and you have the corresponding indicator telling you what gear you're in right here you have your throttle so you can push this down and then you have your headlight auto control button right here okay and then here we have the rear brake and then over here on this side we have the front brake so front brakes here rear brakes here and that's the front of the bike so right in here we're looking at the hub motor of the bike you can see the disc brakes on the rear as well as the disc brakes on the front there are the pedals the battery there's the headlight on the front of the bike. You do have a tail light on the rear of the bike. And of course you can see the rear rack. There is suspension on the front of the bike, the headlight, the battery. There is the seat and of course the seat clamp right there. That's what lets you adjust the seat up and down. And then of course you have the turn signals on the rear and the turn signals on the front. I'll show you more of that here shortly. So let's go ahead and take a second and talk about this display. So right here we have our little touchpad. We can push and hold this button down and that turns on the display. So the first thing that we see here is the battery indicator. This tells us how much battery life we have left. We have our current riding time. We have the speed that we're going. And then we have what they call walking mode. I don't have it on there, but there's a little icon that can appear right here. It's a little guy walking. Down here, we have the range and the power unit. Right here, you can see where it says PAS1. That is your pedal assisted level. And if you want to increase that or decrease that, you can do that here. So you can see pedal assisted levels to up to two, three, four, five you can go all the way up to five and then of course you can go all the way down to zero uh, zero the motor ain't going to do nothing you have to go up to at least one to use this to get um, forward motion so like i showed to turn the bike on we're just going to long press this button here and then if we want to turn the bike off we can long press that and turn the bike off so it's very easy let's go ahead and turn it back on now if you want to change your current speed or your maximum or average speed you can do that by using this F button. So right now you can see it tells us what our max speed was, what our average speed was, or nothing at all. There's the little Bluetooth icon. If we push M, so it gives us the odometer, it gives us this and the distance. So I'll choose odometer. So right here, you can turn your headlights on or off. You can turn your turn signal on or off, left or right. And right here, this is the horn. That's what the horn sounds like, so very interesting. So here is what the lights look like when you turn them on. Here is the turn signal going left and the turn signal going right. And then of course the horn once again gives you a nice loud horn let's go take a look at the back okay so here we're looking at the back this is the brake light when I push the front brake and here's when I push the rear brake and the lights when I turn the lights on you can see that that flashes and then of course the turn signals to go to the left right there and the turn signals going to the right so very nice I like that brake how it flashes that's pretty cool now one of the features that I really like is the fact that this bike will fold up. So if you're going to move this thing, you can push, pull this up, push this lever down, and this will break down. Let me turn this power off. This will break down the handlebars, just like this. And then of course you can pull this one back, and this folds the bike in half just like this. So this is how compact you can make this bike. So if you're gonna put this in, in your truck or in your car or something like that and you wanna break it down, 
the bike easily does that and it very easily comes back together. Come right there. There we go. That locks in. We lift this up and then lock this in. And then of course we can put our kickstand down. So folding this bike is extremely simple. Very, very easy. So right here on the bike on the front, we have two different things on our shocks. This is our preload adjustment knob. So if we want these shocks to be more stiff, we can turn this clockwise and it'll make the suspension more firm. So when you hit bigger bumps and stuff like that, but if you want your suspension a little softer, you can turn this counterclockwise as I'm looking down at it and you can get a lot more soft suspension. Now over here, this is your suspension lock. Right now, the suspension travel is unlocked. If you want to lock this, you just turn this to the right or clockwise. And now when I push down, I'm not getting any travel. So this is good in the event that you want to lock out your suspension. If you're going to be maybe on pavement or something and there's not going to be any bumps. That's a pretty cool option and so is this preload adjustment. So if you want to ride this bike, you can ride it just like a bicycle, just by pedaling. So it'll come up off the kickstand and I can start riding. Of course, if I'm in the lower gear here, it's going to be a little bit easier. And then if I'm in a higher gear here, it's going to be a little bit harder getting started. So I suggest going down to the lower gear so that you can get started. But if you want to ride this like an e-bike, push this button and hold it and turn on your display. Then you want to make sure your pedal assist is on at least one. And then from here, you just push down on the throttle and the bike is ready to go. So you got your rear brake and your front brake. You can use your horn, turn signals, lights, and it will give you your miles per hour. It'll tell you your battery voltage and how much uh, battery life is left in the battery. So it's very, very cool and very easy to operate. And looking at the bike, we're going to look at some of the specifications. This is Model Ranger S. Here are the product dimensions. This is the dimensions of the package. This has a max load of 400 pounds. Package weight is 92.6 pounds, that big package when it came in the mail. The e-bike itself, it weighs 72 pounds. The maximum speed is about 28 miles per hour, and I would think that that's for a lighter rider because when I was riding it, I got about 21, 22 miles per hour. The battery and charger information, it takes about three to four hours to charge the battery. It is a 48 volt, 14 four amp hour battery. Uh, pure electric mode, we can go between 31 and 40 miles. And then if we pedal and assist, we can get up to 55 miles on a battery charge. The maximum grade ability is 15 degrees. Tire sizes are 20 inch tires, four inches wide. Pretty good tires. Uh, the frame of the bike is made out of aluminum alloy. It's IPX4 water resistant. So that means this can withstand light rain. I would not suggest leaving this bike out in the rain. By no means is it waterproof. So make sure you cover this thing, put it under a tarp, something like that. And is there an app available? Yes, there is. You can get the app. Now here's an information uh, page, the error codes. You have a few error codes and here's what they are. And then here is some information. So that's information on the error codes. And then there is some facts of the bike. Now if you want to see the user manual page by page, I will put a link to an unlisted video in the description box and all it's going to be is me thumbing through this book showing every page so you can read everything that is in this manual. Again the link will be in the description box. Okay let's go for a ride. I am pedaling right now. There we go, third gear, 
fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So that is me pedaling. Let's turn the power on for the display. I'm doing 13 miles an hour by pedaling. And I'm a little tired. <laughs> so we'll go down to the bottom gear. Not too bad. Now let's go ahead. We are in pedal assist number one. Let's go ahead and see what that does. So pedal assist number one. I'm doing 7.3 miles an hour. Let's go up to two to see what two does. 13.2, 13.4. That's not too bad. Number two. Let's go to three and see what three will do. 17.5. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's go to four. Pedal assist number four. We're breaking 20 miles an hour, 19.8. And let's go to the highest one, pedal assist number five. We're actually going up a little bit of a grade here. It doesn't show it, but we are. So we're still at 20, almost 20 miles an hour. Not too bad. That is pretty neat. Let's listen to the horn. There we go. It's a smooth riding bike. It's very quiet, very easy to ride. There, we're hitting 20 miles an hour. Very cool. It's uh, really easy to ride. I like it. 20 miles an hour. fun to ride this is such a fun little bike to ride it's it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that I'm really enjoying this I am in pedal assist number five right now so we'll start there we go that is pretty darn cool 21 and a half miles an hour not bad very fun and the fuel gauge and the elapsed time, the odometer. Pretty interesting. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, here in a second, we're gonna test the stopping power of the brakes. So we're gonna get on these brakes here. Boom stops on a dime and then of course when you're done with your ride you push and hold this m button and it turns the bike off and we're done so my final thoughts on this hay bike ranger s big thumbs up from me i love this bike i want to say thank you to hay bike for sending this e-bike out for review if you guys are interested in this i'll put a link in the description box down below Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.